Today I'm gonna teach you guys five ways how you can edit faster. What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Hurry up, you're already wasting time watching this video. So let's show you guys five ways how you can edit faster as a video editor in Premiere Pro. Before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it would really mean a lot if you guys could. But without further ado, let's dive right into the video. All right guys, let's go. So right here, we are in our project, in our Premiere project. Uh, I just have a bunch of clips. I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag them into our project. All right, one of the first and most obvious simple ways to speed up your editing workflow are keyboard shortcuts dude if you're an editor and you're not using keyboard shortcuts like right now like like what are you doing what you're gonna do is come over here to premiere pro and then hit keyboard shortcuts right here and it'll bring up a keyboard of just all the shortcuts these are pretty much just all the keys lined up with each shortcut and which tools so basically what i'd recommend for you doing if you're not using keyboard shortcuts just set a key to each of the tools that you're using the most common so right now the selection tool the track select tool the razor cut tool and the pen tool all of those i have set to keys so right here the the select tool is on v the track select is on z so I can select and just drag clips. And then this razor cut tool over here is set on C. I can just chop everything up very easy. And then once I'm done with that, I can just hit V and just select and drag. You see how easy and fast it is for me? It's really, y'all need to be doing this right now. And also one of the most helpful keys uh, and tools that I've ever used in my life before in this program are the ripple delete tools. Like you actually need to be using this if you aren't. The ripple delete tools I have set to Q and W. And basically what this does is my Q key deletes everything to the left until a cut. And my W key deletes everything to the right until a cut. And basically that way I'm easy to just like, first say if I'm editing this and then it gets shaky right here, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna hit W and it can just delete everything. Drags the whole timeline to your cut and it's just really super easy. Remember, do that hit Premiere Pro and then hit your keyboard shortcuts and your ripple delete keys are right here. All right, my, my ripple delete keys are right here. You can search it up, hit ripple delete, and then just select your keys, hit your keys on, on it, and then it'll, it'll set your key to that. Moving on to our second way of how to edit faster in Premiere Pro. Now this method is super simple, especially if you're editing like a bunch of crazy projects, like documentary stuff, music videos, especially with a lot of layers is the simplified timeline shortcut. This method, oh my God, so helpful. Basically, if you have a really messy sequence like this, there's just a lot of gaps, a lot, just a lot of weird stuff going on right here you can select everything come over here to sequence and then what you can do is hit simplify sequence now this is going to create a new sequence on your timeline you can select all these check boxes right here like remove empty tracks remove graphics transitions we don't have any of that but you know just the possibilities for this hit simplify it'll create a new sequence and boom like that my whole timeline is now simplified. Comparing timelines right here, we have the unsimplified version and the simplified version. Really nice and neat. There's not much of a difference right here because it's really simple, but uh, if you have really messy project timelines, it's, it's so helpful. Another add-on to this effect is selecting everything, hit sequence, and then what I like to do is hit close gap, and that basically just closes any gaps, hence the name. Really, really simple, really helpful, so that way you're not, you know, like dragging each clip to just like snap it together. It's just a mess. You, you don't want to do that, trust me. Moving on to our third method of editing faster is matching fonts so for say i just got like a bunch of crazy fonts going on right here so i'm just going to type some random stuff add it to our our footage so we got this and we got this and then you know i'm just i'm just messing around with the fonts i'm making this project and i'm like ah dude i, I want the whole creative direction of this project to be different i want all these fonts to be like this this one unique similar font right i can come over here to graphics and titles hit replace fonts and projects literally it's literally called replace fonts select all the fonts that i want to replace and then just select the font i want to replace them with hit okay and boom just like that all our fonts are easily replaced super simple super easy saves so much time kind of is another method or as an add-on to this font method is the snap to program monitor method this one right here is really helpful come over here to the settings icon and then hit snap and program monitor and now if you select any of your fonts in your your footage see you have these new red guidelines and you can just snap them directly dead center or dead aligned it's super super helpful a lot of the times i like you know you select on these and then you can you can hit these uh, align ones which are also helpful but it's so much faster if you can just drag it in your program monitor with having these guidelines always using this one now moving on to our final method of how to edit faster this one having to be 
track keyframe audio. This one's so helpful. You're editing a project and some of the audio clips are just different lengths or volumes and you just gotta like adjust each one. It's just a mess. Like, no, no, don't do this anymore. It's like wasting so much of your time, trust me. What you can do is hit this keyframe icon, hit track keyframes, hit volume, and then boom, you got a whole new line level right here. Adjust the volume of the entire clip. I'm sorry, this one, had to save this one for last because I cannot tell, oh my God, I'm shamefully admitting, I cannot tell you how many times I've been individually adjusting these audio clips. Saves you so much time. Whew. And with that, all five methods of how you can edit faster as a video editor in Premiere Pro. If you guys found this tutorial any bit helpful, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe with the notification bell on. I love making this content for you guys and putting it out all here for free. So really, it means a lot if you guys could. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also remember to follow us on Instagram at 11%prod. Tag us which projects you were able to edit faster. We love to see what you guys make. Once again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.